at the Grid Computing Center at Fermilab, half a world away from the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, the key to understanding how the Higgs boson works and what it means for the universe could be on one of these digital storage devices. The data has much more information in it than just information about the Higgs boson. Scientist Robert Roser is overseeing the effort at Fermilab to sift through the computer data generated when atoms are smashed together by the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. It's a gold mine. I mean, you can look at it for years and, and, and tease out interesting pieces of information from it. So it's a, a, an important store of knowledge that uh, we have to, to use for, for decades, really. But Roser says Fermilab is not waiting decades to dig deeper into the subatomic world. Energy matters, and so the higher the energy, the more, the deeper you can probe these different particles to see whether or not there are a substructure inside those particles. To get that higher energy, technical division scientist Andy Hawker is working with physicists at Fermilab to build the next generation particle accelerator, one that will someday make the LHC obsolete. You know, what we're basically uh, planning to build here at uh, Fermilab is basically the most powerful, not the highest energy, but the most, one of the most powerful proton accelerators in the world. We will be not at the energy frontier anymore, but at the intensity frontier, we call it. So, uh, so uh, an intense beam of protons that is uh, basically unparalleled in the world. Instead of particles being accelerated around a vast circle, as with the LHC, Fermilab's new linear device, housed in a facility about 31 kilometers long, would aim two particle beams in a straight line at each other, much like two bullets fired to collide with each other at the speed of light. The advantage of a, of a linear accelerator is that you don't have to, for example, keep those particles on a stable orbit. You can just, it's much easier, you can imagine, it's much easier to send something in a straight line than it is to keep it in an orbit in a circle. While the technology for the new International Linear Collider might be developed at Fermilab in the United States, engineering physicist Elvin Harms says if it is approved, it might not be built there. Right now, I'd say the odds on the, the Japanese are showing the strongest interest in hosting the International Linear Collider. But I would say that the term, you know, the first word international is important because this is necessarily going to be an international collaboration. The International Linear Collider project includes about 2,000 people from 300 universities and laboratories from 24 different countries. The estimated price tag, between seven and eight billion dollars. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Batavia, Illinois.